Did y'all just see what I just seen? People where Bobo's hand is at on this dunk attempt. He damn near just touched the top of the backboard and it looked like he barely jumped. When I seen this, I was like, oh yeah, I have to make a video about him. He's been looking really good during practice with the Nuggets. They already got a steal in Nikola Jokic when they drafted him with the 41st pick. Now it's looking like they're about to get another one. The fact that Bo Bo really slipped all the way to the second round doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, I know he was dealing with a foot injury and all that, but Michael Porter Jr. was going through the same thing and got drafted 14th. Also, the NBA is acting like players never had foot injuries. Kevin Durant had to deal with it, but he came back strong. And Bobo played way better than MPJ in the few games they played in college. Michael Porter Jr. played three games averaging 10 points and six rebounds, shooting 33% from the field, 30% from three, and 77% from the lawn. Bobo averaged 21 points, almost 10 rebounds and three blocks, shooting 56% from the field, 52% from three, making 1.4 a game, and shot 75% from the lawn in nine games. He was making it look way too easy out there. But I can understand, it's extremely hard to guard a player that's 7'2 with a 7'7 wingspan that can put it on the floor and shoot it. He has a pretty solid post-up game as well. Like, look at these shots he's hitting. And they get it there at the free throw line. Bowl, come on, it up. play it and see it every day. Bowl, bowl, off the window and the foul. And last night against Iowa for the Ducks. These are really tough shots. He's really a matchup nightmare. He's already way better than his dad, Manu Bo, who played 12 seasons in the NBA. For his career, he only averaged two points and four rebounds, shooting 40%, but he did average 3.3 blocks in 18 minutes, which is really impressive. But he couldn't shoot it like Bo Bo, put it on the floor like him, or really do anything better than him offensively. In high school, he was a beast too. In his senior year, he averaged 20 points, 8 rebounds, and 2.4 blocks, leading his team to a 32-5 overall record. In the EYBL, he averaged 24 points, 10 rebounds, and 4.5 blocks. He also did his thing in the G League, too. He also did his thing in the G League, too. He played 8 games, averaging 12 points, 5.5 rebounds, and 2 blocks, shooting 58% from the field, 36% from three, and he was perfect from the lawn. He was able to produce like this in only 19 minutes per game too. Even though per 36 stats aren't completely accurate, it says he would have averaged 22 points, 10 rebounds, and four blocks per game. In my opinion, these stats sound pretty accurate to me. This is probably why Shaq said this. If you have a stake in a franchise, who are you starting your franchise with? I don't even think I'd go with Zion. You Believe it or not, I would go with Bo Bo. Because him and Sharif are friends, and I've seen the potential of what this kid can do. Many people thought Shaq was crazy when he said that, but you never know what can happen. Right now, Zion is the much better player, but Bo Bo has just as much potential as him, or even more. When he was drafted, you could tell he was mad by the look on his face. I know that had to hurt to be projected to go a lottery to fall on all the way down to the second round because of an injury. It's rough not, not going where I thought I would go, but I'm really just blessed to be here and uh, make the best of my situation. But the Denver Nuggets is going to look really good in the future. I think Michael Porter Jr. and Bo Bo is going to become elite players. Also, their two best players right now is very young. Jokic is only 25 and Jamal Murray is 23. If they can keep this core together, I think they'll be competing for championships for a long time. Just imagine a starting five with Jamal Murray at the one, Will Barton at the two, Michael Porter Jr. at the three, Bo Bo at the four, and Jokic at the five. Damn, that looks really good to me. But I can't wait to see how they do in the playoffs this season. I think either the Lakers or the Clippers are coming out of the West, but I'm interested to see if they make it to the Western Conference Finals. That would be big time for them. That would mean they would have to be either one of the LA teams to get to that point. But the West is so tough, it's possible they might not even get out of the first round. If the playoffs started tomorrow, they would have to play the Houston Rockets, which is a team I think that can definitely beat them. And if they don't play the Rockets, they could play the Jazz or the Thunder, who are really good teams as well. But one thing I know is out of all these teams, they might have the brightest future. I truly believe Bo Bo and MPJ will become stars, but only time will tell. Let me know what you think in the comments. 
And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more vids. Peace.